Hello and welcome back to the XRP podcast. Today is just going to be a very short video. It's just providing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to update your Zahao nodes to the latest version of the Zahao node software. This version was just released, I believe, on April 23rd, 24th-ish, and the validator nodes have not yet begun their vote in order to amend out any Zahao nodes running previous software. So now is the time to update your Zahao nodes if you are running one. If you are using my Zahao nodes, you don't have to worry about this. I've already updated my Zahao nodes, so you guys are all good to go. Your Evernote host will be running completely fine. But this video is for anybody who is running a Zahao node themselves and just wants a little bit more guidance just to be sure that they don't mess anything up. But besides that, again, it's going to be a very simple process and I will take you through everything you need to know and everything you need to do step by step. So please enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. I'd also like to give a special thank you to Ghost Ryu as he provided a lot of the steps that we're going to be using in this video today. So the first command that we're going to be using in this video is just to download the latest update file. For the updates, you can always find the latest version on Wheatsawin's GitHub page. But otherwise, I always just have them in the Google Doc. You'll just let it run for a moment and then it should be completed. So once we have the update file, the next thing that we're going to do is just we're going to be updating the file so that it points to the latest release. That way, the server knows which version of the Zahao node software that it should download. Once you've finished making your edits, just make sure that you've saved the file and you return back to the home screen. Once we have the proper version, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the update file that we just edited into an executable file. That way our Zahao server can run it and install the latest version of the Zahao software. And after that comes the easiest part, which is just running the update and having it install on your Zahao node. It does take a little bit of time, so please just be patient. You don't have to think that your server crashed or anything. You should see the command line interface return once the update has been installed. So the command line interface is back now. And now we will just check to make sure that the Zahao node server says it's still connected in its server state. We're also going to verify that the server is on the latest version. Again, prior to doing this, you can restart your Zahao node if you want, just for best practices. In this video, I didn't do that because it's not necessary. But again, if you want to play it extra safe, you absolutely can. Nothing bad will happen. So now the update has been fully completed. And now you are on the latest version of the Zahao node software. Just to be safe, always check with your Evernode host that you have connected to your Zahao nodes just to make sure the Evernode host is still connected to the Zahao network and you have no issues. After doing an update, you may see that your Evernode hosts hang a little bit, or they may even show you an error on the screen. That is pretty common, so I don't want you to get worried or scared. Rather, just give it about one, two minutes, and then simply run the Evernode status command once again. And you should see that you get your usual pop up with the QR code. It should say you are connected to your Zahao node, connected to the Zahao network, and you are good to go from there. If you have an Evernode host and you're interested in setting up a Zahao node, my Zahao node video is now live. I will be updating that video shortly as well. But until then, that video still works. If you don't want to set up a Zahao node, I also offer Zahao node services as well. And it's as simple as using the instructions on the screen and you'll be connected within 24 hours or less. If you're interested in generating real passive income by building an Evernote host, you can simply follow the tutorial that I have on my channel. Whatever you do, even if it's 
liking and subscribing and sharing this video and sharing the channel. All of this goes a long way to me being able to do this podcast full time and long term now. So that is everything you need to know for now. Once again, I would just like to thank you for listening to the XRP podcast. I will be doing my best to get back on a more frequent upload schedule. That way I can just help pick things back up with the channel, but also just provide a little more entertainment as well as education for you guys. Please let me know if there's anything else that I can do for you guys. Besides that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be well, be safe, take care, and God bless you.